Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. And remember, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we go into the picks for this week for the NFL season, I want to invite you to join. You'll have access to the VIP club section here, and you'll have all the tools to help you make your picks. So, the NFL is getting down towards the home stretch in the season, and the teams are jockeying for playoff positioning. So, let's get started and take a look at some of the key matchups for the week. Scroll down through here. The first one we want to look at here is the Arizona Cardinals and the New York Giants. The Giants are coming in having won four straight. The Cardinals have lost three in a row. So, not surprisingly, then the Giants are burning hot while the Cardinals are ice cold down. What might be a little surprise is, though, that the Cardinals are a road favorite at 1.72 to 2.13. The line is minus 2.5 and the over-under is 48.5. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Cardinals have been on the downward trend, not surprisingly, down to plus 16. And look at the Giants. Just a few weeks ago at 2, and they're all the way up here now to plus 21. They're really on a roll. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you see last season the Cardinals won the game as a road underdog by a 27 to 21 score. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see that the Cardinals are trending in games under the line. The Giants are trending in games well under the line as well. So this is a very good indication that this will be a defensive battle and low scoring game. So I would suggest betting the under. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable have the two teams been? You can see that the Giants are the more stable team at plus six to plus zero, which means that the Giants are more consistently playing according to their favorite underdog status. So take that into consideration. Take a look at the money line. The updated money line you see here, opening at 1.549 and current at 1.719. So you can see there's been a pretty significant move in the line but the Cardinals are still the favorites in this one. So what I'm thinking is here that the Giants have to win sometime. Excuse me, they have to lose sometime. They've been winning. I think they have to lose sometime. I think this is the week. I think the Cardinals will win the game in much similar fashion as they did last season, except not as quite high scoring of a contest. Dallas and Cincinnati. Now we'll take a look at Denver and Carolina. And this one here, both teams enter at 4-9 and nine and are playing for pride. The Panthers are a 1.55 to 2.47 favorite. The line is 3.5, and, and the over-under is 44.5. You see the Panthers are dead status at the moment, and the Broncos are ice cold down, a clear indication as, as to how the teams have been playing, which is not well. If you look at the power ranking indicator, that will also show you a lot. You can see here that the Broncos are just at plus 8, and the Panthers are plus 6, both down near the bottom of the pack in that category as well. If you're considering the over and under in this one, take a look at the totals predictor. The Broncos are trending under the line. And the Panthers also under the line. So this could be and probably will be a lower scoring game. I would bet the under. If you want to see how stable the two teams are, Broncos are the more stable team at plus 5 to plus 1. They're consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. That could be the key. And this one, as you see, the money line next, opening at 1.51 and currently at 1.549. So not a huge movement in the line. There has been some movement, but not that much. Not enough to really take that into consideration. I think that Carolina should win this one, though, at home and cover the spread. Houston and Chicago. The Texans are average down at the moment, and the Bears are dead status. The Texans are 4-8, and eight, and the Bears have lost 6 straight and are at 5-7. and seven. The Texans are a 1.75 to 2.10 favorite, which translates to a uh, line of minus 1.5 point spread with a total over-under of 44.5. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see here Houston is at plus 11. They are a bit on an upward trend. You can see that the Bears were at plus 27 back on October 27. Then they've had a, their considerable problems, continuously losing, and they are now down to plus 9. 
you're considering betting the over-under on this one, you can see that Houston is playing in games trending over the line. Chicago playing in games trending under the line. Usually when that happens, I avoid betting the over-under. It's just too inconsistent. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. How well are the teams performing according to their favorite and underdog status? Houston is doing excellent in that category. Look at this, plus 9. And Chicago is at plus 5. And they are also performing very consistently according to their favorite underdog stats. This is all the more indication to go with what the line is showing. You see here, Houston is a fair. I expect Houston to win and to extend the Bears' losing streak. And I also think that Houston will also cover the spread. And we have a couple more games we want to look at. The Minnesota Vikings and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Vikings are burning hot at the moment. They won their last two and are 6-6 six and six on the season. Tampa Bay has lost their last two and now are at 7-5. and five. Nevertheless, Tampa Bay is still quite a bit of a favorite here at 1.31 to 3.46 odds. Translates to a point spread of 6.5 with an over-under of 52.5. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see Tampa Bay is at plus 19. And Minnesota is at plus 14. There hasn't been a whole lot of movement over the last couple of weeks for those two teams in that department. If you're taking a look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, Minnesota playing in games well over the line, plus four. And you can see that Tampa Bay is playing in games slightly over the line. I think that betting the over is a very smart and probably profitable bet in this one. So what do we think as far as who's going to win the contest? Well, let's take a look at head-to-head -head first. The head-to-head -head matchup, you see the two teams haven't played since 2017. So that's not going to be any kind of factor. So as far as who's going to win the game, I believe the Vikings have a solid chance to pull off the upset and actually win outright. But even if they lose, I think that they will cover the 6.5 point spread. Now, the game of the week. If you scroll down through here to a couple of them here that we're not going to consider, so we get to the game of the week. There's quite a few here to look at, but we're going to scroll down through these. You can take a look at these on your own if you like. But the one that I'm interested in is going to be the Steelers and the Bills as we're approaching it right now. Here we go. The Pittsburgh Steelers at the Buffalo Bills. Both teams are playing very well. Now, the Steelers did lose to Washington for the first loss of the season, but still, they're burning hot down and are 11-1 on the season. Buffalo is burning hot, and they are 9-3. You see that Buffalo is a slight favorite here at 1.87 to 1.95 odds with a line of 1.5 and an over-under of 46.5. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, the Steelers are still at the top at plus 31. They've been that way since the beginning of November, and Buffalo's a strong plus 25. Look at head-to-head. -head. The two teams met last year in December with Buffalo winning a defensive battle by a 17 to 10 margin. Looking at the totals predictor, considering the over and under, the Steelers are trending in the game slightly over, Buffalo way over the line. I expect this to be a higher scoring game than last year. I actually think this one is going to go over. Looking at the volatility oscillator, how consistent are the teams playing? Both very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. Pittsburgh at seven, Buffalo at plus five. This should be a great game. This is going to be a tight contest. The way I think it's going to turn out, though, I think the Steelers will rebound from this week's loss to, against Washington, and they will come out and win the game probably by a field goal. So there you have it. Those are the picks for this week. Hope you enjoy. Happy betting. Good luck, and we will see you next time.